Now to Russia's war with Ukraine. At least 11 people have been killed and 44 injured in a Russian airstrike on a shopping mall in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, according to the Ukrainian Ministry of Internal Affairs. This comes as Russia declares a federal emergency in its Kursk region in response to a Ukrainian attack inside Russian territory. Russian military and border guards say they've blocked Ukrainian forces from pushing deeper into the region, but Ukrainian attacks continue. And now a Ukrainian military official says forces carried out a drone strike on a military airfield in Russia's western Lipisk region. Joining us now for more is ABC News contributor and former Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Department of uh, for uh, Department of uh, Secretary of De Defense, excuse me, Mick, uh, for the Middle East, Mick Mulroy. Sorry about that, bud. Um, but a lot to get to here. A Russian airstrike on uh, this Don Donetsk region, uh, Ukraine is uh, uh, in, in of, of Ukraine. It's killed at least 11 people, injured 44 others. How intense has the fighting been in that region? Put this in perspective for us. Well, Alex, it started with, of course, the incursion that the Ukrainians did into the Kursk region, which most people thought was limited in scope and, and basically a raid. But it's going on four days now. Uh, it looks like it's quite a bit of troops, and they've taken around 45 square kilometers of terrain, including potentially getting close to taking this key region of Sudza, which is a main hub for the gas going into Europe. So this looks to be much more uh, substantial than originally thought. I think it's really taken Russia by surprise, and it showed them that they are vulnerable uh, to Ukraine. The, the fight isn't just going to be in Ukraine. It isn't just going to be Russia launching cruise missiles at populated areas like grocery stores. It's going to they're going to take it to the people of, uh, to Russia, and they're going to uh, potentially turn the tides. I don't think this is going to be long lasting, but it is more substantial than we originally thought. Well, in making Russia, the government has declared a federal emergency in response to Ukrainian attacks inside Russian territory. I mean, what's the significance of these cross-border attacks? And also, I know there's there's concern as to whether or not it could raise tensions between Russia and the U.S. if it's found that U.S. munitions were used in, in, in an attack like this. That's right. The U.S. has been very clear about the limitations on the weapons and munitions that they've been providing. But I think the intent here by the Ukrainians is not only to show uh, the Russian people that they're vulnerable, it's to tie up Russian troops uh, now inside their own country, what they can't be used to, to launch the offensive inside Ukraine. And it's essentially to show that this is not just a war that'll happen in Ukraine. A lot of people are concerned from the Ukrainian perspective that they might have contributed too many forces and they need them to be in Ukraine. But I think it shows a bold move and quite frankly, they're never going to succeed if they stay only on the defensive. So this is something I think they took a calculated risk with. Again, I don't think it's going to be too extensive, but it is by far more than people thought it was originally. Usually they use uh, um, other militant, militant forces to do these type of things, not an actual brigade, potentially multiple brigades of mechanized infantry. Mick Mulroy, thank you, friend.